Yes, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to WCJ Online TV. As usual, this is your number one online channel bringing stories of different people from different parts of the country and bringing the reality of the world today. Uh, and uh, today, to our guest, Tapa IV, we are going to talk to him and to be about him. It's Derek Orlando for those who, when you are on a story, Zake, by the way. Uh, I know by, uh, you like the story. Meanwhile, well subscribe and uh, hit on the notification bell because coming next is the very best. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Okay, so maybe to Tanzania, you telling us who are you? Who is Derek Orlando? Okay, Derek Orlando is a gospel minister, a teacher by profession. Yeah. A father <laughs> of uh, some uh, children to come. People to children to come, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I have a father of many, like in the world, biologically, you wanna, wanna come to. Okay. So Derek Orlando, we've seen your stories. Actually, personally, I saw your story at KTN, Sunday Best. Okay, and uh, it was, uh, I hope for when you watch Sunday Best, you know about the story. He was jailed for something. Maybe when to Ambia to just shorten the story, to cut the long story short to Ambia about the history of the kidog. Hey, okay, uh, I wasn't prepared for this story for sure. I'm going to learn a little bit of an interview with Usani Music. Uh, but... Um, Okay, your story was inatakana kwa prepared emotionally, psychologically, because it's something that is not that very easy to... See, it's easy to get, but I'll just talk kidogo to you, yeah. Uh, okay, what do you want to know? Okay, maybe, maybe by the guys for when you watch, uh, he was jailed for... He was for 10 years now. Uh, uh we file for appeal then it will shorten just a brief history maybe okay uh i'm a teacher by profession vile nilianza and uh vile nilitoka fresh from college nili nilipata job kitengela and uh, uh nikafanya job kiasi then there was a allegation ya defilement ya mtoto nikapelekwa kotini nikatoka na bond kiasi nika kesi nikiwa nje then in the year 2018 i was uh, nikapelekwa jela nilifungwa 10 years then uh, nikaka kamiti kitu 2 years i applied for an appeal and my appeal was allowed Awa kupata evidence, walisema hakuna evidence, then uh, kila kitu ilikuwa ni, ilikuwa ni, ni kuwekelewa. Then after hiyo, nika, nika chiliwa niko nje, ndo mana sayi niko nje. Okay, yeah. maybe uh, if you can tell us, I can ask you some questions about that. Maybe so after the appeal, wana sikia, maybe mtu wa spoke kwa found guilty after kwa train sentence, wana kwa compensated. Were you like uh, compensated? Okay, the way I mean of your life, ni, I think ni different. Uh, life is spiritual. And uh, me, ili ki, ili is what is it happen? Na uh, me ni God ali allows it happen. Na angalia positive, na yangalia vi positive like. Iki tu me me nye me fanya ni grow uh, spiritually na me fanya ni learn vi tukada in life na me fanya ni gundwe si lazima ni ni to me the same same weapon ku. I mean, ni to me the same same approach ku deal na vitu zangu ati labda mtu akinifanya hii sasa ni tit for tat I read a book in prison na uh, inaitwa Purpose Driven Life na i, kila kitu ina happen na purpose kama ni compensation ni God anapeana na mimi mambo na kesi I just wanted to focus on kesho and kesho and kesho kwenda back kutafuta compensation kufile case na mambo but kama hizo niliachana nazo mi okay kitu mimi mambo ni god's purpose prevail kama hiyo iko sawa kama iko then there is something better yeah 
Okay, so so maybe still on the case. I had a job, but some of them the story attracted well on it too much. But I saw a comment there. I'm talking about now is a. Uh, if uh, the target ya yeah, our true ilikuwa maybe kupata pesa true why mbona true when do kwe used uh, well uh, there were some other teachers in the school i don't know hiyo ni question yenye labda wao ndo wangeulizwa ya yeah, ni wao ndo wangeulizwa cuz uh, me siezi jua okay personally wewe huko na beef na mtu yote at that school mm. okay kulingana vile mimi najua sikuwa na beef na mtu labda kama mtu alikuwa na beef na sijui but mimi sikuwa na beef na mtu okay yeah. okay so, so, so maybe pia um, apart from that story you can tell us umetuambia we ni musician gospel musician uh, maybe you can tell us your history through music industry ah uh, your history kwanza wewe na ni tech kila kitu inaharibu mood yangu sana sana but uh mhm mm cuz ni kitu ile acha ska unaona so nikirudi huko ndani kama i'm going through it for for me to tell this story again i have to revisit it ni pitie hiyo kitu tena again but then i thought to say ma you don't have as in una chuki na mtu yote about the story so una joke sema hivyo it's like you let go of kila kitu okay sio chuki but now unajua kitu yenye iko the pain is still there yeah. sio chuki unajua chuki na pain ni kitu tofauti yeah. ya chuki na manisha ningekuwa na chuki saa hizi labda ningeenda kufuatana na watu but now the pain i went through it i'm the one who know who knows how it feels no no so like uh, ikikuja tu abruptly pop the story i have to inaitaja inafana in prepare psychologically because uh, why na ina change mood unaona sana sana yangu ina change but uh, iko tu sawa so uh, about music music nilianza kitambo tukiwa primary high school ilikuwa nilikuwa naimba tu yeah okay so maybe when did you start officially that sasa nashika kwa musician ukatengeneza youtube channel then ukaanza muziki that was when nilitoka shule nilitoka college alafu hizi kesi zikaanza nikaacha kufunza because i had to be dismissed nimetoka ni niache ni kufunza kidogo ni focus on kesi and instead nilisema ni focus on kesi wacha ni focus on uh, music sasa na hapo ndo nilifungua youtube channel after nilifanya video kwanza in the year 2017 but uh, it was purposely for ya ku praise to cause i was going through something during that time nilikuwa depressed sana na hiyo ndo ilikuwa ni ni njia yangu ya ku ku, ku manage his stress ya yeah, nilikuwa na keep busy na music ndo at least ni si focus on ni kitu okay. history sana actually be there about youtube channel limona some of your songs ziko kwa a channel i can't remember the name of the channel but ziko kwa channel yako why did you sing na zilikuwa solo okay ah uh, hizo zenye ziko kwa hizo channels zingine ah uh, kuna projects nilifanya nikiwa prison so i couldn't access my my youtube account sasa wale wenye walinifanyia because by the way walikuwa tu wale marafiki wale ma ah, because this man is there and uh, he has something to to see to see achi kwa wasted wacha to come through to tumsaidie and uh, wali upload nikiwa kule ndani okay, so yeah. the songs zenye ziko kwa channel ya mtu mwingine it's like uh, you did them ukiwa prison yeah. Okay maybe you can tell us Pia what inspires you maybe to write songs most of gospel you know most of the people don't like gospel songs by the way like most of the people wanna prefer the secular Okay uh gospel una jamii you believe gift yako ni god god given eh na kama Mungu anapeana hii gift that means uh okay kuna ifre sema give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God 
what belongs to God. So me na believe he gift ni ya Mungu nienda ametupatia. So I'm just giving back to him what what belongs to to him unaona. Yeah uh cuz hakuna kitu kingine za mpatia hiyo gift yenye that is the best sacrifice na za mpatia. Okay ni song yako gani una rank best? Mhm okay kila song ilikuwa na purpose yake na season yake so hakuna best zote zote ni best zili sub purpose yake. Okay personally by the way mimi napenda hiyo song yako ya Punglu Pangla. But na tukimaliza kama tutakuwa tunamaliza you have to sing a sada so chorus to ya hiyo song ndo tumalize. But meanwhile maybe pia unaweza tuambia uh, the this year what are you planning for us in the music industry? Ah uh, Thank you kwanza acha nikushukuru kwa ili ujue songs zote inamaanisha wewe una follow. Uh, eh, thank you for kupenda hiyo pungulu pangala. Na joe jira inaka funny. Ambiguous. Ya yeah, inaka ambiguous. Iko iko tu sawa kama umeelewa iko poa. Okay, mm, this year last year ndo nilifanya my last song ilikuwa inaitwa urejesho and uh, nikakuja kutulia kwanza cuz unajua last year I was fresh from uh, the prison na ye, ni, nikiwa prison niliandika hiyo song inaitwa urejesho nikiwa na hope nikiwa na ile faith sana nita, nikitoka ndo nitafanya so ilikuwa ilikuwa initiative nilimake kuandika hiyo song ya urejesho so na niliambia god nikitoka ndo naenda kufanya so vile nilitoka na nikaifanya nikasema acha sasa nitulie so nilikuwa na ji strategize ndo nione mm nta 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 nta, nta approach hii ministry na hii industry haje unaona because hata kama uko kwa biashara kama nisem for example unauza umena lazima ujue utauzia nani umena okay nikichukua hiyo umena nitapeleka wapi yeah so first nilikuwa nataka ku work on what will i feed my audience then sasa hizi kuna project na come soon inaitwa katambe katambe ina maanisha nini uki like uh, it's like you want something to go viral katambe in the viral let it flow sindio so uh sifa katambe let the glory flow uh, for all that god has done unto me ile victory yenye nime experience yote the testimony kila kitu so msemo leo na testimony uh, KTN yeah. na hizo places zingine so ni kwa sababu tu ya god so for that reason wacha sifa katambe yeah so i have a song coming soon ah tunaweza upload hata hii wiki inaingia yeah tunaweza upload inaitwa katambe and uh, ile sasa ni moto Guys I was taking it even further that is sasa this year it's next week inaingia kwa YouTube channel ya Derrick Orlando Sifa Katambe go there watch acha sema ni moto and akisema ni hivyo okay so maybe if you unaweza tuambia so currently you just uh, focusing on music what about your teaching career okay i'm a teacher and uh, nothing can change that yeah. yeah that is my course na pia unajua hiyo ndo kitu nilisomea na pia my dad was a teacher my mom was a teacher and uh, iki tu ina flow kwa damu hata nijaribu kuepa aje iko tu so i'm um, still teaching by the way nafunza nafunza tena kabisa okay, i'm so still you... teaching so i'm a teacher and again nafanya ministry teacher kama musician or maybe minister wa wow, god okay so tukimalizia a request maybe you throw um, be open advice to some of the youths out there going through hardships okay uh hardship ina ina depend hardship gani but wacha tu nionge tu generally because inaweza kuwa ni pia ya biashara ya job but wacha tu nionge generally hizo hardship zinafanya kuwa hard vile tu umesikia hardship si mbaya ina depend na vile unaiview. Ukiwa positive about the hardship uh, you will emerge victorious na hiyo ina okay ni kama two test. Before you be promoted to another to the next level in life lazima upitie test. Hata hata shule, si no? Mtoto wa class 1 sikizo na wanaita grade 1. Wa grade 1 lazima afanye test na ende grade 
Sasa hiyo hardship ni ka test inakupeleka to another level unaona so just be positive and uh, weke Mungu apite na wewe hapo kuna zile hardship pia zenye si uh, will ya god okay so there's uh, this uh, verse yenye maybe wewe unapeana kwa most of the channels zenye nimeona umefanywa interview sijini proverbs chapter what maybe unaweza tupe hiyo yeah tupe hiyo verse <laughs> yani umefollow hadi hiyo <laughs> Okay Proverbs 19:21 inasema many are the plans in human heart but it is God's purpose that prevails Yeah so me okay I always dwell on purpose ndio maana napenda hiyo verse Naweza plan vitu mob kufanya vitu mob like I plan Mi ni siku nataka kurudi kufunza but now me me usema hii ni God's purpose unaona So cuz kwa kufunza ina ina ni keep busy and it makes me heal so fast no no and again uh, that is nikipata initially ilikuwa ngumu ilikuwa ngumu nika shule kwanza nilienda nikatoka within three weeks okay. but uh, nilisema nitoka like ju me find kuna hardship ama ulitoka ju ulitolewa no nilitoka mimi mwenyewe hata nilienda kwa office nikasema ah bado siko sawa so i uh, just need some time but for ili tu nione niko sawa eh, ama nime heal vizuri wana jitest na hiyo kufunza kwenda shule Ma, kama kama siko sawa natoka <laughs> lakini round hii nimekaa nimekaa kwanza la sitia nimekuwa nikifunza okay, so for now una feel maybe you shall yeah. get over it yeah yeah I'm, right now i'm getting over it ni vile sasa ku okay kuja tu kuni kuniuliza tu hivyo <laughs> ni tell the whole story it uh, breathtaking kidogo lakini but i'm getting over it and na najua itaisha kabisa uh, so proverbs chapter 19 verse 21 sometimes what we need is not what we want yeah and god knows what we what we need yeah That's kind of motivation kwa sana unaenda usome keep reading the verse it's a motivating verse uh, nataka tumalizie maybe ni mwachie the chance and ni i be your song yango yeye nilitaka niimbie but so mean i'm out na maliza kindly subscribe then you are miss it's been long since to post so guys thank you so much for keeping in touch hata kama tuko now we are back you are still watching thank you so much acha tumalizie na hiyo muziki yake ama ni aje mhm so tuanze kwa bridge eh nikipotea niite sitaki kamwe nijute kivuli ni mwako nifiche hehe mvu shetani asinifuate Nilindie na familia yangu bwana Anyola na dita kete luoti roth Daddy matatizo ya kitu kaba sana Mikono ni mwako twaji seti hey. Daddy okumba 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 na makedona Okumba okumba na makedona pungulu pangala bila wewe nitanguka na 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 si zingi hiyo party imebaki wata watch yeah i'll post the link ya hii video mimi napenda or go there maliza kuwatch umeiona genuine bye bye till next time